that I've been shooting wildlife since I was a young child. I've been seriously shooting full time for the last 10 years or so. I've been really dedicated and that's sort of what it takes to make it in this field. You have to be super dedicated and sacrifice a lot, sacrifice a lot of sort of personal time and you know clearly I'm on the road for about half the year and I used to be on the road for 10 months a year. So yeah, it can be it can be scary. Overall, it's extremely exciting, I would say, and that sort of outweighs the the fear factor of it all. And you get used to you know taking security into into your concern. I had a situation where I was uh, I had some drunk rangers trying to arrest me for poaching. Um, I've been accused of poaching three times, which is really funny. East Africa will always have a special place in my heart because I spent three years there living in a bush camp. So in you know Kenya in particular will always have a real special place. Um, I love the jungle and there's just an, a whole world of things to photograph it. And you have to work really hard in the jungle too. So I do specialize in baby animals and babies die. That's what happens in nature. Not all, usually not the whole litter dies, but usually a mom will lose um, one or two of her babies and that is um, heartbreaking to watch especially after you've spent you know weeks or months with a family and and then you watch one of these gorgeous babies die it's it's devastating and there's this lovely young male named Lonjo who was just sort of in his prime and he was so used to people and he's yeah. like he's the most gorgeous looking he's very silver and just stunning stunning champ. His personality was lovely. He was sort of a, a chimp that was nice to everybody, which in, in chimp culture doesn't happen very much for males in their prime. And um, he would come up to me and he would do this grooming solicitation behavior where he would take his palm and he would sort of outstretch it. And it means come over here and groom me. But he would do this like really sort of look in your eyes and come here. Polar bears were hard. Polar bears were really hard, mostly because I don't do great in the cold. So, you know, I had to wear the big, huge fat suit and, you know, it's minus 50 and, um, you know, you're even in your fat suit, you're still cold and it's it's difficult work. I and mean, polar bears are magnificent animals. I think mean, working with polar bears is so depressing these days, you know, with, with global warming. And I was working, when I did polar bear stuff, I was working with this guy who was doing a global warming study. So. You know, he was sort of constantly feeding me this information that was unbelievably depressing about all the changes he'd seen since like the 1970s. Penguins are fun. They, there's no other word. I mean, they're just fun. They have no fear of people, so they just walk right up to you. Sometimes they'll like peck at your boots and I mean, they just sort of waddle around you and, and it's fantastic working around animals that absolutely have no clue that a human would think of hurting them. You almost feel in a way like they're so naive, they're so vulnerable, um, but it is absolutely fantastic that they're, they're that innocent and they've been that protected. And they're also amazing subjects, you know, they cluster together in these amazing formations and that you have rookeries where you, you'll have 500,000 breeding pairs all in one area. So photographically, they're, you know, they're a photographer's dream to work with, composition, color, all of it. And this guy just kind of held there on his own and he had this gorgeous pose and you know it was really so much of wildlife photography is being in the right place at the right time being prepared for that right moment and and all those three things happened for me then and it's a great photo it, to be honest it's not a photo that i expected to land on the cover of time but you never it's really hard as a photographer to anticipate what's going to sell and who's going to buy it you dream of working with cheetahs or lions and you, you take that off the list and you know, there's always something else as always, you know, this year for me, the big subjects are ring-tailed lemurs, eye eyes, tigers. There's always something, you know, the next year will bring something else. So it's great because there's so much change. It's really nice, yeah. I'm really looking forward to my presentation for CAVE. I'm excited to see everybody and meet some people that support CAVE and meet people who are interested in wildlife and domestic animals. I believe strongly in what CAVE's doing, so I'm super excited for the evening. I think it's gonna be fantastic. Yeah.